All right, welcome everyone. First of all, happy Shivratri, uh, Maha Shivratri actually. There are Shivratri every month, but once in a year we get two Maha Shivratri. So it's very auspicious day today. Um, we'll go into why, why it is very auspicious and all. Uh, the the basic is that Shiva was the first one who gave the technique to the world how to find your true self. Why the Shiva is so important? Because he was the first one. So he gave that those techniques. Uh, he gave. He is the guy who gave most of the techniques, like many numbers of techniques because he knew that one technique will not be sufficient for different kind of people. So, he gave 112 techniques of meditation okay? and they were given to Saptarishis, if you know Saptarishis, when he was um, meditating on Himalaya. So, when he found himself, then he, he had a seven student. They were called Saptarishis and he taught them 112 uh, different types of meditation and asked them to go to the across the length and breadth of India and spread these techniques. From there, this process has started. So, approximately 15,000 years ago, this all started and because of those kind of uh, what you call techniques, people who came to visit earth who found themselves into the into the you know um, the nitty gritty of everyday life and somewhere when they started seeing the frustrations and, and stress and anxiety and never ending struggle those techniques came to the aid and Shiva knew that that's gonna happen and because they help people what happened after that that it kept spreading kept spreading and kept spreading. So, every century then one Shiva will be born and he will again give that knowledge of uh, wisdom and knowledge and, and the techniques mainly is a technique. So, talks does not help much what help much is the technique. Okay? So, talk does motivate people, but what, what will help in the at the end of day is your own effort your own practice. Okay? So, talks is just for you to understand what is the process, that is the only reason. Okay? And do not think that the Shiva is something 15,000 year old, there are a lot of Shivas now also present in the body. So, you can also become Shiva if you self realize yourself. So, this as they say that God lives in you at the same time you live in a God. Okay, so, there is no two different things. So, everything is one and that is what we call oneness. So, once somebody self realizes which is called enlightenment, he becomes a um, he becomes a Shiva himself. So, every century. So, if you see uh, the avatars which have taken uh, in, in many generations. So, last avatar was Buddha. Uh, they say this is the ninth avatar of Vishnu. Yes. So, this avatar is nothing but the reincarnation of Shiva every uh, different different time in the in the century. For example, Shiva will be born as Shiva, Shiva can be born as a Krishna, Shiva can be born as a Rama, but you will give them different different names, but it is basically the reincarnation of the same thing. And what is that same thing is self-realization. And it is very undiscriminative, like the nature is so beautiful, we are children to that nature and nature is so beautiful that that opportunity is given to everyone to self-realize yourself, that that opportunity is equally given to everyone, it is just up to you how much you devote yourself to the practice. So many people book today, so many cancelled, again so many people book today, again so many people cancelled. Why that is happening? Why that is happening? I know one particular student who really need it more than anything, but then at the end they called and said, oh I cannot make it today because I have so and so thing. Why? Because your mind will not let you do it. Okay? So, there is a fight between. So, it is a it is a very simple journey from heart to head and head to heart. 
but once you reach to the head it's very difficult to come back to heart okay so when you are a small baby or when you are growing up you are const you are constantly living in your heart yes and you are thinking from heart you are doing everything from heart when you start growing up with your experiences and with your uh, general knowledge and with your education the journey from heart to head starts so in class 1 class 2 year 1 year 2 till you go to university you go and by, then you get a job and by the time you spend 5 6 hour year in your own job you are fully established in your head so you start year 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 like going university like that job established in job now you are completely in the head now when you are completely in the head you can't feel the body and where the emotions are felt emotions are all felt on your body yes or no so emotion is a supercharged nature of your thought so when the thoughts get supercharged it converts into emotion and the playground for emotion is into your body so where you feel love you can't feel love in your head where do you feel where do you feel anger hmm where do you feel anger huh in the body na that means in the body so emotion cannot be felt in your head emotion can be felt only on your body but when you establish yourself completely into your head there is a cut off your body gets cut off from your mind so what happens after that you feel like a stone no emotion emotionless no emotions are happening no happiness is happening the only thing you can see is the jitter of the stress that's that's the reason we need to reconnect our mind and body together align our mind body together and there are certain methods we can do that as i said the shiva gave 112 because so that's why today's meditation we kept ki we will learn three four types of meditation so some will work for you some will work for not work for you so take what you like you know it's like that uh, so that's why usually we do full day retreat for vipassana that we do same technique throughout the day for 8 hours but now because of uh, that uh, particular you know um, thing that maybe you like different different meditation so we said okay let's start with a different different meditation okay so i won't take much time we will start our uh, first meditation <coughs> 